you want to know something that really sucks when you want to make videos and you can't figure out your background like I cannot figure out how to make this a better background I cannot figure out how to get sound on this new camera that I purchased and um, I've been kind of feeling not great about myself I when I look at the videos of myself back I go that's just not who I see in the mirror and I've been really really reluctant to make videos so here I am making a video talking about the very same feelings and issues that I've been having. I forgot to change my shirt and wear something that wasn't showing words or whatever. I did get my hair done today, so that is cool. But that's what I wanted to talk about in this video is making videos when you don't feel like making videos and how pushing through that will help you. I know that it's helped me get your video volume up. So the first tip that I have for you on that is just make the darn video. Do the best that you can. Make the background as good as you can. Make the lighting, the sound, the video, everything as good as you can and then just build on it. I've been seeing videos of people that say, you know, you can make one video a week but that only gives you 52 chances a year to get better. So I would really like to do two videos a week and that will give me double the amount of chances. So first, make the video, and then second, make more videos. The third thing that I wanna say is try to watch videos, uh, learn about lighting. Like I have been learning, my lighting is not perfect, I know that, but I have been learning the different kinds of lighting that I need. Like I have a key light right here on the side of my face. I purchased the lights so that I have a little bit of shadow on this side of my face. So I did that, I, I do wanna get um, the other one that's back here, I can't remember what it's called, um, but I'm still going to work on my lighting and then I'm going to work on my sound. I've got this camera and I want to show you in a moment. This was a like 50 or $60 little camera that I got from the TikTok shop. Um, the shop sent it to me for free, so I got to try out the camera and I have been thinking about buying a camera. I have my iPhone 12. Pro Max and that's what I've been making all my videos up to now with that and it's been great and I've thought about upgrading to like an iPhone 14 to get the better camera quality and some of the tools for content creators on that model or above. I think 14 would be a good model. Anyways, I haven't done it yet and part of the reason that I haven't upgraded my phone is, you know, I don't really feel like I need it yet. And also, I don't know that I want to continue creating videos on my phone because I find it distracting to always be on my phone when I'm creating videos because I'm getting the notifications and getting people calling and stuff. So if I want to make a video, I can just simply put my phone in the other room and then just go to town making a video with a camera. I'm not going to be interrupted by all of the people that call or text or, you know, Amazon packages getting delivered. So <laughs> I've been thinking about getting like a Sony... ZV-E10 I think it is. That's I think is the camera that my heart is set on but the opportunity came to use this camera which like I said is a cheap little camera on TikTok that I found. I cannot seem to find it like on Amazon or really any other site. I think they have them on e eBay. I think it's a DC 101 is the, is the model but it has like a fixed lens, digital zoom, um, very little features. So it says that I'll show you the box. <laughs> this is the box for the camera. Uh, it says that it has 4K, I can't read it and tell you at the same time, 48 uh, megapixels max resolution, autofocus. I don't know that it has great autofocus. It has a flash lamp, anti-shake. I have noticed the anti-shake is with the photos. I don't know that it's for the videos because when I walk and go around, it's not that great. 16 times uh, zoom, uh, beauty face, and face detection. I think the face detection is also only on the camera. So I'm wondering if the autofocus, the face detection, and the anti-shake are just photo features, because I think they are. I have not noticed them with the videos. Anyway, so that's kind of in my mind is to upgrade the camera. I've been watching videos, people are saying, don't worry about upgrading your camera, upgrade your audio first. I have this microphone and it's a, a Movo microphone and I tried to plug it into this camera. It does have a little cable and it just doesn't work. It makes like a humming noise and I've watched all the videos 
<laughs> I have done all of the things to figure out that I probably had the wrong cable and I was so excited when I figured that out. I had a TRRS cable that I was trying to plug into the camera. So I went and I found the camera, the cord that was supposed to be for the camera and it even says camera. I don't even know how that's gonna come out. Anyways, it's a TRS thing and it's same problem. So I, I don't know, this, this microphone does work. I use it on my smartphone and it does work. So. I can't really upgrade my audio on this camera. So I'm kind of stuck on that front. So that's where I'm at with this whole thing is I would like to get a camera because I also need to upgrade the sound. I can't figure out any other way to get the sound, the audio better on this camera. I feel like I've exhausted my resources. I've looked everywhere. I've looked in the little manual for the book. like. I, I just don't know what to do. Well, so I might be spending the $700. The other thing I've noticed about the camera is when I wave my hand, see how there's a little trail there? And, you know, it would be nice to have the ability to change out lenses, to do the blurry background. I think it's called bokeh. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, to just have a better image quality. This one has a beauty face filter, uh, but I don't think that it works that great because when I watch the video back, I'm like, ooh. And then I like to add a little bit, I use Kafka and I add a little bit of editing to make myself look better because it makes me feel better, okay? I do a little even tone, a little uh, smoothing of skin. Sometimes if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll add a little bit of makeup. I am wearing, wearing makeup today, so I won't need to do that. Um, but I may need to like kind of amp up my makeup. Anyways, I can ramble and ramble and ramble. So those are the things that I've been working on and struggling with, and I thought I would just share those things with you in hopes to help you feel better about yourself. I really, truly believe that YouTube is the way to go to make passive income someday. I'm really hoping that the videos that I create on here have staying power and 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 can provide me an income later on once I get monetized. So. I'm still going to be working on that. I'm, I'm not monetized yet. Obviously, I don't have enough followers. Um, but that is my eventual goal. And I, as I'm building up my followers and my watch hours, I would also like to get better at this. I really want to learn more about photography, videography, about the settings, about editing. I would love to learn more about special effects and, and all of that stuff. So, so there you have it. I recorded this video on a $60 camera. Let me know if you can tell or not. I think you can. I mean, I told you <laughs> with the hand thing, but I mean, overall, it's a decent camera and I don't think it is too terrible. So I don't know. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <My hand. laughs>